is for me like a deep breath out. A time to go inwards, having inner conversations and nourishing my basic needs. It is a time to ask myself what I really need. With my simple life in Sweden, with its extreme cold winters, this time of the year is so important for me to, to having stable nourishing routines. Routines that will help my body through the stress of a very cold winter can bring. And really enjoy every last sunny days we have in the fall before the light will disappear and the darkness will take over. Plus the light in the fall is so extremely beautiful. And I just want to take it all in before it is disappearing again. So going a bit back home to Denmark and getting a bit extra sun and warm is something I like to do before the winter is arriving in the north. I have slowly over the years developed some routines that are keeping me stable and happy. Since I moved to the north, I had to change some things in a way for my body to thrive and feel stable through the winter. Here in the north, we are not getting the same extra energy from the sun as you get in the south. So one thing that have made a big change for me is respecting my body's need for nourishment. And not be on a fast or be on a cleansing diet but give my body a good meal with protein, carbs and fats. We're gonna go this way! No, 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 we're gonna go this way! People, come! Go, 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 go! <laughs> wow, it really looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day today. Wow! <laughs> cool. Fall is also all about slowing down. Where summer is outgoing and extroverted, fall is the time where you let go and let yourself be more quiet. And I love to walk around the small farm houses here in Denmark. It makes me dream of a more simple time with more simple days. This is the summer house and that is actually the forest you can see, the big forest we are walking in. I love that we can see the forest from the house. That is so cozy. and biodynamic um, farm shops is that how you say it on uh, on english i think so it's open they are like in the late fall here in denmark they open up friday saturday and sunday for people to come and shop every fall i feel that is a new topic for me and this fall has the topic been going back to basic Something I did in the weekend as a child together with my mom was going around to real farmers and buying our food from people who love their job. This summer and fall I have invested a lot of my time driving around to the small farm shops both here in Denmark and Sweden and get my food from local people who do a fantastic job both for their animals and also for the ground they're working with. And the quality of the food is just so enjoyable and makes me only looking forward to that day when I have my own big garden and some animals at our cabin.
now we're gonna make some dinner. And I just make myself a little pick me up. <laughs> um, it's a cold matcha drink. Actually, just the juice from a whole grapefruit, if I think that is how you say it. And then you can put sparkling water or just normal water in and matcha, and that's it. And it's, I think, it's delicious. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm always getting surprised. It's actually, it really depending on the grapefruit, I would say, but. Mm. I really like this one. Yeah. Mm. When the season is changing, we should change with it. For me in the north, that means that I naturally begin to crave warm food warming spices and food that makes me feel grounded so for example root vegetables meat and some seasonal fruit like apples humans are cyclic beings and especially as women with our circadian rhythm and our menstruation cycle but also letting our body connecting with the cycle of the year is so important just do the same things and eat the same way year-round is not going to support and make your body ready for the different seasons. I think we have become so much out of touch with the natural things we used to do in the different seasons and lost our connection with the bigger picture. On the farm today I found some pumpkin and Danish chicken and decided to make a creamy delicious pumpkin soup. I will of course write the recipe in the description. Going back home to Denmark for some days has been really empowering and grounding. Sometimes you just need to feel your roots again. This fall has been so gentle and soft, so I feel really ready for the power of the naughty winter to come. I hope your fall was empowering as well. I'm sending you all so much love and see you soon home in Sweden. <laughs>